Alrighty, last video of 2019. We're gonna end it with the Shogo Akiyama Reds offseason rebuild. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support you've given me through 2019. I'm looking forward to see what 2020 brings. All the new subscribers, the new viewers, the likes, the comments, your support on the channel. And I look forward to really for March. I'm waiting for that new MLB the show and being able to just constantly grind out content for you because you guys, you guys are my support system. Like without you guys, we couldn't do this. So I can't thank you enough. So thank you so much for 2019. I look forward to 2020, seeing what we can do in that year. And let's end it off with the Reds rebuild. I feel like they were the most recent team to do kind of a bigger move. Um, I know the twins today signed Rich Hill and Homer Bailey, but we might hold off on them for a bit. So let's do the Reds rebuild. Let's see what we can do with this team. I mean, they're kind of stacked already but i think it should be a good one so if you guys are still enjoying these rebuilds and you're looking forward to the content that's coming up in the next year thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content make sure you turn on that little that little bell icon and click all notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live and in the comment section let me know future videos you would like to see we're about to start 2020 let me see let, let me know what you want to see for this upcoming year and also all social media links twitter instagram snapchat they're all in the description go and give them a follow if you haven't already above me is the username of the roster that i've been using go search that um he's been cranking out these updates every single time a transaction happens so he's been up to date on everything he got all the rosters looking right so search that username let's hop into this video shogo akiyama reds rebuild let's do it already off season time season was okay i think we just missed out on the playoffs by like a game or two i'm not gonna freak out about it yet because we're technically not in the actual rebuild we're starting it right now and uh let's see what we can do with the squad so we'll take a look at what we're working with now um like i want to keep alex wood i know they haven't in real life i don't think alex wood is signed with anybody now i want to look that up as i'm doing this probably should have done this before i started recording we'll take we'll take a look alex wood has come on we're not gonna load alex wood is still a free agent so he hasn't been signed by anybody and i mean wow amir garrett did really badly um say so did matt bowman or bauman whatever it is um yeah alex wood i guess we'll let him walk um, we'll just use Wade Miley, who's sitting in free agency. And you're probably looking at the lineup like, hey, why is Eugenio Suarez at shortstop? I don't know. I wanted to try it out so we could get Nick Senzel into the lineup. But we'll figure something out. We might trade Nick Senzel for a really good shortstop since that's kind of the rumor that's going around right now in real life. Um, David Hernandez, I know is a free agent in real life, but I think let's bring him back to the Reds. He's been a Red, what, his, like for a while now, right? Last couple seasons last three years so um we'll, we'll bring him back freddie galvis i know in real life is going to be the probably the shard the sharding starting shortstop for the reds so we'll give him a contract and then we'll let jose iglesias go um staff i think we got to get rid of david bell so we'll probably do that once the season starts or in the off season before the season starts gonna add these two guys to the 40 man because i don't want to see them like go to another team especially lucas sims he's a really good trade piece arbitration we're gonna give to everybody except for um i don't think derek dietrich's on the team anymore is he yeah derek dietrich's not part of the team i'm gonna let him go i just feel like we could use the money somewhere else we're gonna give most people offers anyways arbitration contracts we're gonna give free agency this is where i'm kind of interested Starting rotation, I think we're set. Bullpen, I think we could use maybe another arm. Um, looking at the bullpen, we're in the 70s, not a lot of 80s. So we definitely could use an arm or two. Catcher, I definitely want to improve on as well. Might have to make a trade there. We have Vado. As long as he sticks on the team, there's no point in trading for anybody else or trying to get anybody else. Second base, we got Moustakis. Third base, we got Suarez. Shortstop, I'm probably going to trade for somebody. And then left field, we got Winker. Center field, Akiyama right field aquino i feel good with every one of those options that we have just shortstop let's try to figure out shortstop in the bullpen i'll see you guys at the start of season one all right i know it seems like super like obvious that i was gonna trade for a shortstop so we're gonna trade senzel sims in india um the only another way i could have gotten this trade done was uh blake trahan or tryan or what however you say his name but that was another way i could do it but i feel like if i'm getting francisco lindor 
I have to give up quite a bit to make this tree like trade like actually happen. Um, another player was Hunter Green, who I don't think we're ever going to use in this rebuild. So it's between really Hunter Green and Jonathan India. And I'm kind of looking at it. And I guess we could go either way with it. Like, what are they really going to want out of the deal? And I feel like... I don't know. We're going to go Hunter Green, I guess. Sims, Green, and Senzel. That's the trade for Lindor. New shortstop for the team. Alrighty, so Season 1, we're actually going to get this started. And this is what we're looking like. Lindor is new, and that was really about it. I didn't really sign anybody else. Um, or we didn't even make any trades. So, I'm kind of interested to see how this team works. I'm cool with the top three, Discofani and Wade Miley. I'm a little iffy about for the, the starting rotation, the bullpen. We'll see. I have a feeling we're going to have to make some changes. I did bring in Will Harris. That was another name that I did bring in um, through free agency. I did a two-year deal, but there's an option for the second year. So if he doesn't do well, we'll just send him out. So he'll be our setup guy. And this is our lineup. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, first base, Joey Votto is going to continue to decrease very, very quickly. So I'm kind of hoping he retires this season. That would be great. Uh, but outside of that, I mean, Aquino is probably going to increase even more. We got Barnhart. I'm not really sure on. We might need to try to find a new catcher. But he hit 282 last year. So, I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, I could I can be okay with him hitting 282 as a catcher. And then the rest of the rest of the lineup, Jeff, Jesse Winker. I almost said Jeff. Jesse Winker, 270 with 22 home runs is not terrible. Um, I think that, you know what, I'm... I'm fine with that too. So if Winker can continue to grow, Aquino can continue to grow. Really the only place we're going to have to look is a first baseman and maybe a little bit of pitching. Outside of that, I like the team. Um, Lindor obviously is a new addition to the squad as well. Let's see what we can do with these Reds. All right. I wasn't, I went to go get some water and it simulated without any trades or anything. Like even the notifications just kind of came a little bit quicker than I anticipated. So yeah, we are end of the season, 90 and 72. We're a wild card team taking on the D-backs, and uh, let's see. Wow, the Cubs are uh, kind of good, huh? So we missed the division by 29 games. Um, had the best wild card record, but you know what? It looks like the Cubs are just gross. So Castillo, most strikeouts. That was it. And then awards wise, MVP for Castillo. Okay. I mean his stats right there are kind of gross. So I mean it makes it makes a little bit of sense. So let's take a look. 242 ERA, 1.12 whip, 219 innings pitched. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of a, a really good season. Oh, Trevor Bauer. Yikes. Um, probably not bringing you back. I would rather spend the money on some good pitching. Same with Sonny Gray. Desclafani, not terrible. Wade Miley, pretty terrible. So Desclafani, probably going to be our five heading into next year, maybe even our four. And then we definitely need to find a new two and three because... Wow, that was bad. Stevenson, not great. Hernandez, not great. Amir Garrett was better. Uh, Bowman or Bauman did a lot better. Uh, Lorenzen did well. Will Harris, not too much. Uh, man, uh, kind of 50-50 with the bullpen. Either did really well, and even the starting rotation, they did well, they did poorly. Like There was like no like okay pitching. There was either like yikes or they did well. So let's take a look at our bench real quick. Um, pretty Pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with the way the bench looked. And then Akiyama, high average, about 20 home runs. That's like what he does in real life. So I'll take that for sure. Lindor, 42 home runs, 112 RBIs. He becomes a free agent. I think he's got arbitration this year, and then next year he becomes a free agent. So I'm actually going to throw him a contract now so that we don't have to worry about him leaving in free agency, and hopefully he takes the contract. Mustakis did well. Suarez, yes. Winker, I'm cool with that. 270 with 19 home runs. Yeah, I'm... I can take that. Vado, even though he's going down in rating, did well. Aquino, 22 home runs. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty good with the way the team did. So season one, here we go. How do we sim this one? I feel confident with the team. We won three to two. All right, perfect. So now we're taking on the Cubs who ran away with the division. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, this might get ugly. So first game we lost. Second game we lost. Third game. We didn't get swept, but that's how our season is going to end. Season one, that's okay. I'm fine with that. You know what? We, we definitely have some places that we need to improve. So that shows that like we have a lot of improving to do, especially with how good the Cubs are. We're going to have to play them quite a bit. It looks like this 
this rebuild let's figure out what we can do with that so no i don't want this team option no no i'm gonna make him our fifth for the rest of the rebuild at five million that's not bad at all and then we're gonna let the rest walk so sounds crazy but it's a lot of money we can work with to build on this team so let's see what we can do um i have an option that i haven't exercised which means not that exclusive negotiations decline it there there we go problem solved right free agency time uh 40 man i guess we could add those guys so we don't lose them um, I want to offer Lindor a contract so he signs it, but the rest I probably will offer arbitration and then going to offer everybody contracts. All right, so my PS4 froze as I was doing the offseason. And as you guys can see, we didn't make the playoffs. This is still technically going into season two, um, but I just wanted to show you that I had to resim season one so that I could get back to where I was because I, 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 I usually save at the start of every season. So because it froze while I was simulating to start season two, I had to restart and do season one. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm still gonna make the same roster moves that I showed you before, but I still wanted to show you that like it froze and I had to redo season one. So if you're looking at some of the stats later on in this rebuild and thinking why they aren't the same from like season one till the end of it, that's why you know, uh, or that's why it happened. And so you guys know that I didn't like cheat or had to restart or anything. I, my PS4 froze, so I did have to technically restart and do season one again so it wasn't i wasn't trying to cheat or anything it's just i had to redo it so it actually was worse for us because we didn't make the playoffs so i'm gonna hop into season two and uh let's get it started all righty so i was going through looking for different pitchers and the athletics have like a stacked rotation so i figured let's take daniel mangden um bring him to the reds because we we really do need pitching like we let some of our top pitchers go and i just felt like we really need to strengthen this pitching staff so our bullpen's looking good. Our lineup offensively looks really solid. It's just our starting rotation. That's kind of the big question. So Mangden for Jose De Leon, Finnegan, and Fairchild. And I'm going to try to make one more trade happen. I just don't know with what team. All right. I've been looking at different pitchers we could trade for. And you're probably thinking, why are you trying to trade Nick Lodolo? I'm not. It's just like I'm looking at what we have available. And we, there's just there's just not a lot of pitchers that like I'm looking at and I'm like, I want them on the team. You know, like I feel like we've trained for Marquez. We traded for gray recently, Kyle Freeland. I'm looking at his stats and I'm like, ah, that uh, he looks okay. But do we really want him? I don't know if he's going to actually work out. I don't like training within the division that often. So I'm trying to avoid all the central teams. So there's actually a name that I saw Joey Lucchese. And if I could trade way, wade miley cody reed and then like someone that we're not using to make this deal happen i'd be okay with bringing in joey lucchese it's just i don't know who we're gonna have to part with to make this deal work um we might not even be able to use wade miley we might just have to use like like some b potential pitchers um let's see what do we got that we can part with what about him his stats don't look bad. It actually helps out a little bit. What about one of these catchers? Ooh. There we go. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Joey Lucchese. His stats have actually like actually look decent. They're almost all 70s, which is what I look for in pitchers. So Cody Reed, RJ Alanis, uh, Alani, uh, Alanis, and then Nick Siofo for Joey Lucchese. I probably butchered those last butchered those last two names, but oh well. So the thing is now is our pitching is still just really weak. Um, I'm going to give these two guys opportunities for four and five because their stats actually aren't terrible. Um, so four and five, I'm okay with that. We're going to let one, two, and three develop. I'm going to probably trade Wade Miley. Um, I like our bullpen. Robert Stevenson. Yeah, we could do that and then have Sal Romano be our long reliever. Then trade Wade Miley. And I need Joey Votto to leave. His contract is killing the team right now we are so tight on money because we have so many big contracts i need joey Votto to just retire that's that's what's holding us back um so i'm gonna see if i can find like anything for wade miley if not he's just gonna sit and rot in triple a i might even just let him sit and rot in triple a this year um because we don't really need him he's extra to the team 
um so yeah i think that's what we're gonna do i know it's not the craziest of seasons this year in terms of the roster like we brought in blake trinan on a two-year deal we just brought in mangden and lucchese who you think about it you're probably like those aren't the flashiest of pitching rotation arms and they're not um but we're kind of limited on money and signing lindor to a big contract to make sure we didn't lose him for season three was kind of something that i wanted to do to make sure we actually had a shortstop so i like the team um, I'm going to give Aquino one more year. If he can't consistently stay in the 80s um, overall wise, I might look for a new right fielder. And then I need Joey Votto to retire like really, really badly. Like that's what's holding us back the most. So we'll see what we can do in season two. If Joey Votto doesn't retire, we're just going to have to trade him. I really want to keep him on the team till he retires. But if it's going to hold us back, we need to get rid of them. So let's see what we can do here in this second season. Um, overall, I'm not disappointed with the team. I just think it could be a little bit better. So season two is kind of the make or break year. If things don't go well, we're blowing up the team and trying new things in season three. All right, September, I don't think we're making the playoffs. 84 wins, not good enough. Oh, we won the division, 87 and 76. What? So the tiebreaker definitely was the reason why we won the division. As you can see, one game. Um, we wouldn't even wait 87 games yeah we wouldn't have made the wild card if we didn't win the division holy cow we're 19th ranked so we must have a really bad team lindor 55 home runs 51 doubles gross and then luis castillo's up there as well and then we take a look at awards mvp for lindor hank aaron award gold glove and then cy young back to back for luis castillo because technically he won it in the first year of the rebuild but i had to redo it because the ps4 froze so looking at the team it actually looks really good or at least our two key players luis castillo lindor look good 273 era 1.1 whip uh, Mangden, not terrible, but probably not going to be our number two heading into this next season. Desclafani did well. Lucchese, not as good as I would have hoped. And Tyler Maley. Sal Romano, probably going to hold down that spot. Like, I'm good with those numbers. And looking at our bullpen. Uh, I think Rizal Iglesias becomes a free agent this year. Oh, man. We need, to, we need to do something with the bullpen. And we definitely need to add some really good arms to the the starting rotation because it's just it's not looking good akiyama hit the ball pretty well 40 home runs almost lindor let's take a look at these stats because that is gross 323 a 1091 ops 121 rbis 55 home runs 51 doubles jesus he is unreal Gustakis did well eugenio suarez did well winker was okay i'll take those numbers aquino I'm not sure yet. If we could, like, this is what's bothering me, though. Vado, please retire this year. I cannot keep you on the team. I can't. Like, I need you gone. And then the rest of the team was, it was all right. But if we can get Vado to retire this year, that's so much money that we can use somewhere else. So, taking on the Rockies, we are going to advance. That's good. Um, Who's pitching here? Tyler Maley. Let's uh, not let that happen. Sorry, bud. But... I'd rather have uh, my top arms going. And I mean, Lucchese's not even looking like he's doing too solid. So we might have to move him into the five spot. So versus the Diamondbacks, we are facing elimination. This is season two. We definitely need to advance. So we cannot lose this game. Great American ballpark. We got Luis Castillo on the mound. Back-to-back -back Cy Young winner. Um, we need to score. Like that's like we got to get it early. Um, Justin Turner's on this team. Dietrich Gregorius. So some new additions not too bad but we really should beat this team having a 66 rated first baseman probably not the best but um tie ball game that's good to see first and second two outs couldn't score there which is a little disappointing ah two to one game bottom five so we still have time to get back into it lindor couldn't deliver it's just we can't rely on castillo and lindor to carry this team and luckily mustakis brings us back into it so two two can we do something here? All right, Castillo's done after seven. That's a good start. Irvin gets on. Kurt Casali, are you kidding me? He's gonna be the reason that we're gonna be in the lead. All right, let's go. Let's go Jankowski. He grounds out, unfortunately. We get a walk. 
and then nothing out of that but that's okay eighth inning we're gonna go to try and in hopefully he goes one two three he does it but at least he doesn't allow any runs suarez gets suarez gets us another run aquino drives in another um can we pinch hit here we need a lefty let's go winker we'll go sack fly can he or we'll just swing i guess double play and zanning unfortunate but let's close it out rizel please perfect game seven time um who this is a make or break right <laughs> like who who knows what's gonna happen here so daniel mangdon's having himself a postseason can he keep it up that would be huge if he could all right so an error gets lindor on first and second one out one run scores that's huge aquino sack fly perfect and then a three run homer to top it all off are you kidding me all right i'll take that for sure that is a great first inning Still holding on to that five-run lead. Um, okay, three-run lead now. Mangden, I need you to calm down. Just get me, get me five innings. Five, six innings, I'm happy with that. Um, can he at least get through the inning? He does. All right, he'll be done after that. Um, so that's, that's good. We got through it. Garrett, get me this out here. You don't. But at least you got the runner thrown out there. And then Lorenzen. One run scores. Oh man, it's getting a little tight now. I don't like that. Um, ooh, let's go to Winker. He flies out. Akiyama gets on though. Lindor bases loaded for Mustakis. Sack fly. Can you do it? Perfect. And then another run comes in, which is great. All right, even better. Let's go back to Trinan. Please, please don't blow this. Runner was thrown out. Two outs. Just let's not throw this game away. Like, come on. Like just please <laughs> that's basically what i'm trying to say just don't ruin this all right let's go jankowski he walks um we still got that what two run lead all right we need rizel to be lights out here wow okay so we're taking on one of the socks in the world series who's it gonna be the white socks all right i think we're able to go back to the top of like the rotation um, it doesn't really look like whoever we're gonna throw out there in the three spot is doing well. Oh my god. Um, we'll go Tyler Maley there, and then Descalfani can be five. But whew, World Series time. Game one, one to nothing. Are you serious? Game two, eight to four. Game three, we lost. We lost that one. All right, we need this win, please. Game seven. Oh, I did not want this. Like this is the worst possible scenario right now um daniel mangdon on the mound game seven they have trey mancini really and mark canna that's not good mark canna's a beast reese hoskins brian dozier all righty can we do this first and second with no outs that's a good start runner was thrown out going home and we couldn't take advantage of that and then of course they score the next inning that sucks um yeah that's not the best scenario and our our offense has gone cold for the last two innings um make it three innings which is horrible it's only one to nothing so at least we're still in the game but come on two nothing game bottom six lindor doubles that's big there we go we're within one double play really that was why are you why are we getting doubled up there all right mangdon's done let's go to bowman he gets the out we need to win this game here like Please don't blow it here in this scenario. Double play. Awesome. Awesome. Um, one run scores. <sighs> Man. Two run score. Really? No. No. That sucks. All right. Who are they going to put on the mound? A lefty. Let's go to Blake here. He doesn't get on. We get that. First and second. We're just not scoring runs when we need to, unfortunately. And I feel like this is uh this is it for the Reds. Yeah, that's uh that's the ball game. Unfor they have Josh Hader too. What is this team? That's gross. So at least we made it to the World Series. We're gonna have a playoff MVP. Akiyama. Um Mark Hanna was the World Series MVP, so I mean it shows that he's still a beast. But that team is gross. We need to build. We I think the starting pitching is kind of what held us back. So let's see. Joey Votto retired. That is big money for us. Thank God. All right. Exclusive negotiations. Um, 
Sure. Sure. Um, Ryzel, how have you been? You had a horrible year, so no thank you. And then we'll just go like like that for Lorenzen. That's a lot of money, but I'll be okay. Catcher, I want to get a new catcher. Let's move forward. We really, really just need some improvements. Um, yes to everybody. Contracts, yes to everybody. All right, we need starting pitching. Who are we going to go to? How's Andrew Heaney been? He's been okay. Eduardo Rodriguez, meh. Um, doesn't look like anybody else I'd be interested in down there. Corey Kluber for a season, possibly Syndergaard would be a lot of money. I don't really know if we could afford that. Same with Clayton Kershaw. We need something here. Um, Kenley, huh? We need something here and it's not looking promising. Catcher, probably gonna have to trade for one first base. We definitely need a first baseman. Um, who is the best option here? Nobody. Wow. This is, uh, oh boy. What do we do? Are there any like third baseman we could move to first base? Yeah. Sano. Sano is kind of the go-to. Michael Franco. Not terrible. Chris Bryant. Not really the best of options. Could we move Moustakis to first base? That could be a possibility too. That might be the best option, actually. Moving Moustakis to first and then picking up a new second baseman. Um, and then trying to get a new... We just need so many changes. I'm just going to keep listing positions. Keep rambling about different options. I'm making a lot of changes to this team. Let's see what we can do for the final season. All right, we're still in the offseason. We're going to trade for Taiwan Walker. Anthony Lescofani, he was okay. Um, Actually, is he going to be our five... One, two, three. Actually, no. We can do that. Yeah. He wasn't terrible throughout this rebuild. It's just Taiwan Walker stats the last couple seasons in 2020 and 2021 have been really good. So I feel like let's make the trade. We're going to get rid of Stevenson, Mela, and Desclafani for Taiwan Walker. We'll give him a shot. All right. I think this might be the final trade we're going to make out of this rebuild. Jankowski, Sherman Johnson, and Jackson Stevens for Mitch Garver. We need a catcher with some pop off the bat. He's probably going to hit like 220. But you know what? I'm cool with that. So this is the team. This is the this is the team. David Peralta, I felt like could help us out in left or right. So that's why I picked him up. Um, we're going to use Aquino as kind of a platoon outfielder. Uh, Mitch Garver is now our catcher. His morale will go up once I make him an everyday catcher. But yeah, Michael Franco is going to play first base for us as well. And that's the team. Uh, I'll make uh, Mitch Garver, obviously, the, the catcher. But the team looks really good offensively. Um, shedding the contract of Joey Votto. Yep, I remember. Uh, actually helps out so much. Holy cow. Uh, we were able to bring in some, some good players. Uh, so starting pitching, though. That is still kind of a question mark for me, along with like the bullpen and stuff. I just... Uh, I don't know if this is going to be good enough. This is so tough you know what i think it is let's take a look at where we're ranked i think it's a good enough team fourth ranked offensively yeah definitely shows um pitching we brought in kenley jansen and pedro baez uh we only have one lefty which is a little disappointing in the bullpen but you know what we're we're gonna give it a shot tyler maley's stats aren't terrible sal romano's pretty well rounded and, and as our long reliever last year he did pretty well or was it Tyler Maley that was our long reliever? One of the two was somewhere. I, I don't remember where, but um, yeah, that's the team. We're still within budget. I guess we could check to see if there's like a good pitcher available. You know what? We're going to rock with it. I'm going to keep swaying back and forth. I like this team. We're within budget, which means if like we were to go forward in the rebuild, we would have more money to work with and actually bring in more players but i like this team i think it's pretty well rounded offensively pitching could be a little bit better but i think we're still pretty solid so final season we made the world series last year let's see if we can win it this time all right last month of the rebuild can we do something with it i don't i think so you know we're almost at 90 wins as i say that we're starting to hit a massive losing streak which worries me because last year we wouldn't have made the postseason if we didn't win the division this time we made it as a wild card team so i guess that's okay 91 and 71 we missed out by three games and just think the fifth ranked team wasn't the best in baseball or even one of the top in baseball so 
looking at the calendar, I mean, did we play St. Louis? We lost there. We lost there. If we would have won those, that would have been a, a big help. Uh, we lost a lot of games towards the end. That's uh, a little worrying. Not the best of momentum ending the year off, but Lindor most runs and Luis Castillo most strikeouts. So again, our top two players in this rebuild. A gold glove, and that was about it. So disappointing to see that, but let's see. Whoa, hold on. Luis Castillo, what is going on? Wow, our starting rotation was very abysmal. Like, just disappointing all over. And then our bullpen was pretty good. Our bullpen, I okay, you know what? I can live with what our bullpen did. Um, so, yeah. And then looking at the rest of the team, Akiyama, not the best of years. The home runs are there, though. So, I mean, it's not terrible. Lindor, easily the best player of this rebuild. Just hands down the key player. Peralta did well. Eugenio Suarez did well. Winker, yes. Michael Franco coming in and dropping a, a cool 41 home runs. All right, I'll take that easily. Mike Moustakis did well, Aquino, and Mitch Garver. So overall, very happy with the team offensively. Pitching-wise, we have been atrocious. Very, very bad. So we're away for this game. Can Luis Castillo get back to Luis Castillo form? Uh, we're up 2 nothing. That's good. I'd like to see that 2-1 game. Um... Okay, I guess Luis Castillo is like, you know what? I can't pitch anymore. Like, I'm just not, I'm not good. What is going on? Seven to two? Uh, yeah, so it was great doing this rebuild, guys. It was so much fun. It's looking like this is where we're gonna end our rebuild off. Going from a World Series contending team to getting absolutely smacked around and destroyed by the Braves. 11 to 4. So yeah, unless we have some crazy, crazy, like, comeback in this inning. I'm covering up the score right here. We need five runs. Jesus. All right, let's do it. It's a good start. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, Aquino, please. All right, please don't toy, toy with my emotions like this. Oh my God, what is going on? Holy, sp I let Pedro Baez swing because I was so just blown away by what just happened. Holy cow, what was that comeback? What? Huh? <laughs> holy cow what there's no way we just came back from that oh are we gonna do this again they have kershaw is that what i just saw um let's go um against kershaw jesus i guess we'll go joey lucchese my god they got chris bryant too harper javi baez what is this team Okay, that's a good start. I'll take that. <laughs> one nothing. I'm still mind blown by the fact that we just came back from that just the, the game, the wild card game. Unreal. Um, tie ball game. All right, that's fine. All right, we're down two to one. Can we get another run, please? Maybe not. Uh, I see Lucchese's done after six, which I'm cool with. That's fine. Um, we'll take him out here. Got a, a righty and then lefty lefty. So you know what? I have faith that he's not going to walk two lefties. But you know what? He got out of the inning. I'll take that. Uh, we're limited on appearances here. So we need, I guess, Jonathan India to come in. He gets on. David Peralta, hit by pitch. Akiyama couldn't do anything. That's unfortunate. Um, let's go Amir Garrett. He lets the, the runner get on, which isn't great. But Trine is going to come in and give up a home run to Tyler O'Neill. Are you kidding me? You're, you're kidding me, right? Tyler O'Neill. All right, we're back within two, so it's not the worst scenario, but this is possibly how the game ends or the series or the season ends. Um, what do they got? A righty. Let's go to Winker. Single. A fly out. Another single. Lindor. Keep the season alive. Unfortunate. That sucks. All right. <sighs> let's take a look budget wise real quick. See what we're working with. Um, Who's leaving? Luis Castillo, you definitely have to bring back. Blake Trinan, you could let walk. 
Akiyama, up to you. He is 34, so he's probably going to decrease very, very quickly. Um, I mean, there's a couple of names there that you can see that you could bring back or let go. Pitching-wise, definitely need to strengthen this area because they've been very disappointing throughout. Same with the bullpen. But offensively, this team is absolutely insane. Unfortunate, we couldn't win anything. Lindor hit 158. Are you kidding me? You destroyed during the regular season. And then when I needed you to do well, you just let me down. So that's how the Reds rebuild is going to end. Unfortunately, couldn't win a World Series. But we did have that crazy comeback win in the wild card, which I'm pretty impressed with. And at least we had a, a World Series appearance in Season 2. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. Again, guys, thank you so much for the 2019 year that we had. Like, I can't thank you enough. You guys literally have, like, grown this channel by so much. The comments, the likes, the support. Thank you. So I'm happy to end 2019 this way. Let's make 2020 even better. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. On screen now are going to be two videos. My most recent one and also one that YouTube recommends you check out. If you haven't seen either of them, go and give them a watch. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.